Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's video. If you're a new viewer, I'm glad you found me, and if you're returning, I certainly appreciate that as well. At the end of my last video of Patterson State Park, I mentioned that I took a trip up into Minnesota and up the western coast of Lake Superior, the greatest of the Great Lakes. It was a beautiful ride through Superior and Duluth, up the shoreline along Route 61, through two harbors, and up to Gooseberry Falls State Park. The whole distance was about 60 miles or so from my campsite at Patterson. Some of you more astute viewers may notice that I appear in this video to be driving south back to Wisconsin rather than north. Well, that's true. The morning sun on the way up pretty much washed out all of the video, but either way, the drive is striking. So I've decided to take a trip north to Gooseberry Falls, which is in Minnesota. Here I am on the shores of Lake Superior, just north of Duluth. Oh my god, look at how calm Lake Superior is. How often does this happen? Fantastic day. When I arrived at Gooseberry Falls, there were not that many people there and the trails were not crowded because it was just opening. By the time I ended my three and a half mile hike around the Fifth Falls Trail, the park was packed. I suspect in summer it's like that all the time, especially since the entrance to the park is free and the weather was terrific. Visitor Center looks really cool, except that it doesn't open till 10 and it's only about 9 o'clock now. So by the time I get back, it should be open. We'll check it out. Falls and middle and lower falls, or the other way around. You know what? Let's go top to bottom. No. Nope. Let's go bottom to top. Amazing. It's all basalt. Wow. Amazing. Well, they must have stairs here for a reason. The middle and lower falls, which you just saw, are easily accessible and ADA compliant. 
You can hike to the other side of the falls to get an aerial view, although it requires taking some stairs, but the view is certainly worth it. From there you can hike the Fifth Falls Trail, a three and a half mile loop. I decided to do that and was not disappointed. That might be uh, Upper Falls, I'm not sure. Look how cool that is. I'm telling you, Gooseberry Falls is one of the coolest hikes that I've been on in a long time. You can see the, the waterfalls, Ooh, little right here. The basalt rock formed when volcanoes in this area in Michigan and all through the upper Midwest into the plains, about a billion years ago, they erupted for a million years and laid down about 12 or 14 miles of basalt lava. And that's actually, on top of that, over the years, oceans and sandstone, but that's what formed this whole thing. It's really cool. Oh my, I don't know what you can see that water is really rushing over those falls. This is so cool. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have to say this is probably the best short hike I've taken in the Midwest thus far and whether you just want to see the falls or hike the trail, it's a great way to spend a few hours. And if you're looking for more to do, just head north a short distance to Split Rock Lighthouse or a bit farther, Beaver River Falls. Lighthouses are always interesting. The museum and the tour of the lighthouse here is great, although a bit pricey. So. Until next time, everyone, carry on. Cheers.